In this bubble tutorial video, I'm going to show you step one of how you can use the assembly AI API to extract different speakers and the text that they say from audio. So we're going to be using the API to upload an audio file and then uh, get a transcript back, but know who said what in the transcript. Um, but before I launch into that, did you know that we have got videos that you cannot find on YouTube exclusively available to our members at planetnocode.com? Right, this is going to pick up on some earlier videos where I was using the Assembly AI API. Um, and so uh, if you need a bit of a recap on each of the individual steps, uh, you can go back and check out those videos. But I am going to be explaining what's going on here, which is that I'm in the Bubble API connector and I've added in an API called Assembly AI. I've uh, added in my uh, API key into the authorization field, private key in header, uh, and I'm making a post request to the uh, Assembly AI API uh, and this is the endpoint here. Uh, it is an action so that I can run it in a workflow and I'm sending it as JSON. And within the body, uh, I've got one uh, body parameter that I've made dynamic and that is I have to provide assembly AI with a uh, public, um, open, accessible uh, audio file or video file uh, for them to be able to fetch and turn into a transcript. Um, so I've uploaded a audio file to the bubble app storage and here is the link directly to it there. Uh, and uh, the only step that I've really done differently from my earlier assembly AI videos is I've added in this um, uh, value into body. Uh, speaker underscore labels is true. Uh, and so if I initialize this call, and this will serve as a good recap for how the assembly AI API works, um, I get back an ID. And um, check out my other videos for how you can get this all automated, running through a webhook. But right now, I'm just doing it in the API connector to demonstrate the, all of the steps. So I'm going to copy the ID because this is the uh, the unique identifier for the transcript. So once uh, Assembly AI has um, finished processing the transcript, either you provide them with a webhook, which I'll demonstrate in other videos, or uh, you go and you look for the transcript using this ID. Uh, and so for this, I'm just going to look for the transcript. So I'm going to uh, go down to my get process transcript ID. Uh, and uh, this is all covered in the assembly AI documentation, um, but I've laid it out here in the open, in the bubble um, API connector. So I'm going to paste the ID into there and then initialize the call. And this is where I get back my transcript. So you can see here that my transcript starts with, hello, my name is Bob, I'm speaker one. And then someone else says, hello, my name is Emma, I'm speaker two. Um, but if I scroll down to utterances, I can see that it begins to group them. And so I then have uh, in utterance number one, I have, hello, my name is Bob, I'm speaker one. And then uh, Bubble only shows you one example. But if I go to raw data, oh, it's going to be a long way down. Where is it? Uh, we then have uh, utterance two. Hello, my name is Emma. I'm speaker two. So part one, I'm just showing how to get the response back that contains the, uh, the, the data in JSON for identifying different speakers. Uh, stay tuned for part two. I'm going to show you how you can start to process this through the bubble database and uh, get the different parts of your conversation and display them.